A new PlayStation device could really put you in the game. I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. Sony is working to bring virtual reality gaming to the PlayStation 4. At the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, Sony is demoing a virtual reality headset prototype it calls Project Morpheus. There's a bit of a Tron vibe to the design with glowing blue lights around the eyes. When you look into the screen, you'll see a 90 degree view of your surroundings in the game with 1080p resolution. It can track your head movements to calculate your position and rotation and it has 360 degrees of movement. Even the sound is three dimensional. What you hear depends on which way you're facing. This is a project three years in the making, but only developers can try it so that they can build games for it. We don't know if this will ever become a real product, but we are getting closer to the world of virtual reality that we were all promised in the 90s. Facebook is working on a new face detection technology called Deep Face. The name is appropriately creepy because it can scan through millions of photos to match faces even if those faces are turned to an angle. It's almost as good as humans at detecting and matching people's faces. And now I'm sure Facebook is thinking of a way it can use that technology to make money from our mugs. More on this research will be presented at a computer conference in June. There's a new Skype app for Android and it says it won't quickly kill your battery life. By automatically turning off push notifications for group chat, Microsoft says you can leave Skype running all day with no noticeable battery drain. Pandora is raising the price of its commercial free service. Starting in May, Pandora One will cost $5 a month instead of $4. And with that dollar increase, there will be no longer a yearly subscription option just month to month. But if you already subscribe or if you sign up before May, you won't have to pay more. Right now, about 3.3 million people pay to listen without commercials. That's a small sliver of Pandora's 250 million registered users. There are a few things certain in this life, and they are death taxes and fighting over the air conditioner temperature with your family. But thanks to technology, the battle for the AC settings can be controlled with a smartphone. Meet Eros, a window air conditioner that can sync with your smartphone. It adjusts the temperature by learning from your schedule, budget, location, and usage. And in the end, it's supposed to save you money with its energy efficiency. Made by Quirky and GE, it's available for pre-order on Amazon for $300 and it'll ship in early May, just in time for summer. That's your tech news update, but you can get more details at cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.